Welcome back to Market Headlines. Issue regarding Grab and Gojek merger is on the rise again. The Super Apps merger talk issue was in line with the news regarding SoftBank, which is Grab's biggest shareholders, that is under pressure. Southeast Asian Super Apps Grab and Gojek have restarted discussions on the possible merger at the bidding of shareholders, including SoftBank, as the Japanese company's CEO and founder Mai Sayoshi's son back to you. The merger talks also becomes the two companies' struggle amid the pandemic. Their valuations have fallen substantially in the secondary market at COVID-19 drags on, according to the report. Citing from the Financial Times, despite Grab being valued at 14 billion US dollar at its most recent funding round in 2019, its shares have been trading at 25% discount. In the other hand, Gojek was valued at nearly 10 billion US dollar last year, but it has also been selling at steep discount, particularly from early shareholders wanting to exit. Analyst of Pitchbook. Assad Hussein said that the merger could significantly accelerate both Grab and Gojek faster profitability. From all sources, IDX Channel. Well, you heard it before, Grab and Gojek is about to merge. And in Zap, the only thing that crossed in my mind is more like Iron Man and Captain America team up to beat Thanos and the Avengers. Both Iron Man and Captain America is somewhat the strongest in the superheroes in Marvel Universe. It is quite similar with Gojek and Grab in this case, whereas in the Southeast Asia, both companies are giant on-demand players. And therefore, right now, let us deep dive more on the super merger talks. Let's begin it with the timeline of the rumor itself here it is you can see the graphic through your screen about gojek merger talks issue timeline so here it is through your screen we can see these fresh merger talks comes around february after grab president mingma and gojek ceo andre sulistio matt a rumor starts buzzing around, which were then opposed by Grab shareholders and SoftBank and its Visions Fund. And at that time, SoftBank believed that the red hailing industry would be a monopoly industry, according to the Financial Times. But in the same month, a spokesperson for Gojek told that the rumor about merger are false. While Grab has made not any public statement yet, but later on in September, a deal being pushed by the SoftBank CEO, Masayoshi Son. SoftBank was pushing for a merger of these two companies after both are a bit suffer financially after COVID-19 seriously affected the market. So through the next graphic, we will see on how Grab and Gojek do business efficiency in the midst of pandemic. Through your screen, we can see how the business efficiencies go. First of all, Gojek is about to terminate 430 workers, which is about 9% of the total workers. While on the other hand, you can see through your screen that Grab has terminated 360 workers, which is 5% of the total workers. And here it is, we can see Gojek that cut 25% of management level salary. And Grab did the same way as well, cut senior management level salary. And if we can see it through the Gojek perspective that stop go live and go food festival services, meanwhile Grab has a divisions deficiency. And in addition, SoftBank and Sun are pushing a potential merger comes as no surprise that given SoftBank's ongoing attempts to sell and consolidate its investments following its WeWork debacle last year. SoftBank announced in March that it intended to sell off 41 billion US dollar in assets to have a pay down debts. And the most notable investment came from September with the confirmed sale of the arm holding LTD to NVIDIA Corp with a 40 billion US dollar deal. Well, in short, if finalized, the merger would create one of the world's most highly valued startups. So let's see the next graphic. Here it is. Through your screen, you can see the valuations of each grab. With grab currently holding a 14 billion US dollar valuations, and also Gojek in the same hand with the 9 billion US dollar. Well, in the Marvel Universe, superpower means agility, flexibility, and ability to defeat villain. But in the real world, superpower means valuations. Valuations means money. And superpower means 
huge deal of money. But potential merger is not guaranteed. The complaint betting factor is that Alibaba Group holding LTD. Alibaba is in talk to invest 3 billion US dollar to grab, but however, the interest of Alibaba and its associated business will increase regulatory scrutiny because Alibaba investment could also result in a tie up between Grab and Lazada Group. And this will raise confusions in slicing the cake or determining each side's stake. And not only that, there are other challenges within this merger, if it is going to happen. So let's see it through the next graphic. Here it is through the next graphic, we can see the challenges. First of all, as you can see, both companies compete in the same market and it is not healthy at all. And the second one is that there is a monopolistic tendency in here. Well, Technically, if we talk from a platform and a technological point of view, the integration step will be better and more practical because there will be not many applications involved. But however, from a business standpoint, it is unfair for providers and consumers not to have any other options. And the third one is that you can see that create less workers with the mergers contributing to the possibility of job cuts, especially amidst the poor economic climate and the last one is that the problem in determining size of each side stake as I mentioned before in Alibaba's case and yes viewers merging of a superpower may be channeling great path into profitability but of course it needs deeper considerations as many problems may hamper as well as Tony Stark said if situations got harder means it's just leveled up so stay tuned to market headlines because we will be right back after this quick break.